Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? Yeah, so I am somewhere in the northern Pacific off the coast of Japan, uh, traveling north from Osaka and Kobe, uh, making my way to Tokyo. Uh, I have an excursion today at 12.30, so I feel like uh, I will get into Tokyo probably in the next four hours. It's, uh, it's 7 a.m. here. And uh, I thought I would just come and spend some time and show you what it looks like from the balcony to uh, sail, uh, sail to Japan, or sail to Tokyo. Let's see who, uh, what's up, John? Good morning, Bagak. Uh, Jackie in Australia, how are you? Cruise with us, good morning. Or whatever time it is there, let's see, it's 7 a.m. here, uh, J Japan time. So uh, it's uh, 6 a.m. in Shanghai, China time, 6, 6 p.m. East Coast, 5 p.m. Central. There's four time zones. What's up, Kay? What's up, Neri? What's going on, Tony? What's going on, Julie, Artie? Yeah, so today is our last, uh, our last stop. I'll, I'll turn around, see what's up. What's going on? I don't know what the light's like. But yeah, so I'm standing back in my cab and they, they cleaned the balconies yesterday and one of the partitions is open. So I didn't want to get too far out on the balcony. Got some good light here, right? I'll show you guys the seas. Yeah, it's super nice here. Feeding the dog time. What's up, the, what's up, Bonnie? So I have to get this close to read the chat and close one eye. It's not a good look. I'll turn it back around. Ooh, 97 degrees in Charlotte today. That sounds warm, Joe Flanagan. What's up, my love? There's my beautiful Jenny. Oh, I miss you so much. Uh, the solo traveler, if you have a regular cruise partner, is uh, not, not, that, uh, not that fun. It's so weird not to cruise with my baby. I love these islands, though. This is, uh, you know, basically Japan is four big islands and a lot of uh, small islands. And so almost everywhere that we've been over the last two days, three days, you've been able to see land on both sides of you. And it's really amazing. The sail away yesterday in Kobe. So uh, Kobe and Osaka are basically two cities on uh, opposite sides of a bay. And so when you sail out, you kind of see the other city. It, it was pretty wild. Like they said that the ship could make the trip in 30 minutes at full speed. Uh, of course, we didn't go full speed. It took us about two hours. And so we stayed in Osaka until 3.30 a.m. But when I woke up yesterday, about 6 a.m., we were already in Kobe. So it was nice. What's up, Julie? Man, it was a crazy day in Osaka. I can't wait for you guys to see this, uh, see this footage of Osaka. The, we went on an excursion that went to the Osaka Castle and then to one of the major shopping areas, and it rained the whole day. So it was, it was fun trying to navigate an umbrella, uh, a camera, two cameras, and hundreds of stairs. But uh, Osaka Castle is like a castle built in the 1500s, still in the middle of Osaka. And Osaka, I guess there's some conflicting information. I'll have to look it up online. But on Osaka Day, the tour guide said that Osaka was the second largest city in Japan. But yesterday in Kobe, the Kobe tour guy said that Osaka was now the third largest uh, city in Japan. But it was really wild to be at that castle in the middle of this huge city. And you had to climb a bunch of stairs. We got to the top of Osaka Castle and got some really good views, which was super cool. And then we went to Dotombori, which is a shopping area. And it's really everything that you would think about, the neon, all kinds of crazy stuff. But it, again, it rained on us the whole time. So it, uh, it was interesting. We went to this huge like five-story department store trying to buy. Uh, Don needed a hard drive. And I was looking at a cell phone gimbal. Got a lot of comments on that first little walk around the ship tour, how shaky it was. And I didn't even think about it. I'm so used to using my little stabilized camera that, of course, when I was carrying my phone, uh, it was super shaky. So apologies for that. We didn't get to try the Kobe beef. There was, uh, in Dotenberry, there was some Kobe beef, but the tour guide said that it's uh, super, like, overly priced there. So we thought maybe when we went to Kobe, we would have an opportunity, but turned out we were just there for a short time and all we could do was the tour, so. You know, it's it's been, a, uh, I can just read this comment here. It, it has been a little cool here in the 70s uh, yesterday, which was nice, but haven't seen a lot of, uh, haven't seen a lot of, 
uh, leaves changing or anything like that. Yeah, Mike, no Okinawa, just uh, Kobe, Osaka, and Tokyo. So That's a beautiful view. The sun is up and bright uh, just on the other side of the balcony partition there, so you see it in the, the left-hand side of the shot. I might move it a little bit just so we're not going to get sun. Oh, sorry for the shaky. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome, Bonnie. Uh, am I enjoying the food? Yeah, so the interesting thing is uh, this cruise is built primarily for uh, the Chinese. So we've got, I think it's close to 5,000 passengers and over 4,000 are mainland Chinese. And it's a, it's a national holiday for China now. They just celebrated their 70th uh, anniversary of being a country uh, in, in the current form of its government. And so they have the whole week off. And so it's, I liken it to spring break. So it's a lot of families here. And, uh, but the food is oriented for the Asian culture. However, they do have, they do dedicate like a station on the uh, buffet for Western food. So yesterday on the buffet, for example, they had like mashed potatoes and gravy and a beef stew. And every day they have hamburgers and hot dogs. But I've been trying my best to try a variety of stuff. And the food has been really good. And then I did the main dining room one time for lunch and that menu seemed very similar to just what you would get anywhere else, you know, like risottos and those kind of things. Yeah, Gregory, the, it is really, I mean, I'm an on the go kind of person, like I like to stay busy. And so I've been trying to make myself at least do like 10 minutes of sitting out and watching the seas. It's such a drastic contrast from the first day that we were on the cruise. Uh, it was rocking and rolling. The last couple of days have been really, really nice. The interesting thing about this cruise too is there's there's probably, you know, the, what, what I didn't realize when I booked my excursions, I was surprised when we booked the excursion through the cruise line, there were only about three options per port. And uh, I think because I'm English speaking and Westerner, I had less of a, a selection. But the thing that's good is that they only offered me the English guided tours. And so the tours that we've been on have been small tours. There were 31 people on our first tour and they, they were all Westerners. And like the tour guide speaks in English. That's, I think that's the, the main thing. Um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind going, you know, uh, with other folks on cruising, but I guess the tours, I mean, on the excursions, but I guess the excursions would have been in Mandarin. So I, I guess to give us a break, they, they put us on English speaking tours, which has been nice. The tour guides have been really informative. And so it's been small tour groups, which has been nice. Uh, the shows have been pretty good. So Peter asked, what are the, what are the shows like the first the first night was a, uh, a rock band called Goddess, and they were they were on the Philippines uh, America's Got Talent, or, or no, The Voice, the Philippines Voice, the second runner up on The Voice. Uh, it was really good, like a great band with a, a lead singer, like female lead singer, very charismatic. It was good. And the second night was a show that was put on by the cast here called Showgirls, and it was kind of a tribute to like uh, the Showgirl show from. Uh, over the years, so uh, feathers and big headdress type stuff to kind of the modern Vegas take on the showgirl, which was really interesting. And then there wasn't a show the night we were in Osaka because we stayed there until 3.30 in the morning. They were just, they, they showed a movie in the main theater. And then last night it was a uh, act called Gold Duo Art, or yeah, Gold Duo Art. And it, they were kind of a, a mix between acrobats and dance. It, it was super entertaining. There was some magic there, but they were actually on uh, America's Got Talent and they were semi-finalists, I think, in Ukraine's Got Talent. So it's been some top-notch uh, entertainment. And then Silk Road is their big interactive show that uh, just starts and opens up today on Saturday. So uh, we're gonna catch that. When do we see Silk Road? I think we see Silk Road uh, tomorrow night. Oh gosh, Paul, uh, it's it's all over the vlogs. I, I I love the vending machine culture in Japan. Like I, you will not be you will not understand how excited I am. I've hit the vending machines every chance. I all I'm buying is drinks, but I just love the idea that you can. There's vending machines on every corner. Uh, 
Uh, it just scrolled by, but yes, uh, definitely, definitely sit in the front row for the shows. Jenny B, what are you doing? Why aren't you here? Wow, so peaceful. What's up, John C? Jenny, I miss you. I miss you, baby. Hello, hello. The cool thing is we have been able to FaceTime, so she's, it's not the first time she's seen me, but Jenny, where are you? Jenny, where are you? I see you not. This might be the last cruise that we do without each other. It's crazy. It's crazy, it's crazy. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. So you get the uh, calm uh, Japan. I'll give you the, I love the vending machine dance. Vending machines in Japan are cool. Vending machine, okay. Let me get you back to the sea. Uh, let's see, how many more days on the ship? So this is day five. So we have Tokyo today, and then uh, sea day, sea day, back to Shanghai, jump on a plane on Shanghai. I miss you too, honey. Wow, the internet, yeah. So Mike Ferguson, that's a great point. Uh, the internet's been amazing. It's super cool. Uh, how's the language barrier on? It's It's not been too bad, so... Uh, most everything here, they give you in English and in Mandarin, and even like announcements say at the, when the cruise director comes up, he will he will do both at the show. And then I've used Google Translate a lot, especially when I was in Shanghai. You just type the word and show the show the person, and I uh, didn't have any trouble communicating at all. Yep, Spectrum of the Sea solo balcony. My balcony's pretty big. Uh, Don's on the other side of the ship, and his balcony is actually the size of his room. It's pretty wild. Do I prefer water-lined rooms, or was it just the costing? Uh, I wanted to try the solo balcony, which uh, that that put me over to the water, but we've, we've cruised the interior several times. If I can afford a balcony, I'm going to take it because, well, here's the view. You know, it's it's a lot different having that natural light and this kind of view. Uh, opposed to not, but you know, at the same time, if it's way more expensive, I, I'll get on the I'll get on the interior just so I can do more cruises. Uh, yeah, this uh, the ship was built for Asia, Katie. So the Spectrum of the Seas is now the largest cruise ship uh, in Asia, and so it's a. Uh, that, that's really what it's made for. Uh, all the theming and those kind of things are really uh, Asian themed. So I don't, I don't foresee it coming out of here. Now, there is a, I believe it's a brand new quantum class ship, the Odyssey of the Seas. It's going to be down in uh, Florida next year, I think. Haven't seen any whales, no. No, most that I've seen off the balcony have been um, birds. Yeah, Ty, it is. It's it's very nice here. Yeah, Michael, it's a it's a it's a toss up. Again, you know, we we've talked about it before. Would I rather, if the balcony is going to cost me two or three times, uh, I would probably rather, uh, I would probably rather do an interior. Uh, is there a craps table on the ship? No, there's not. And I haven't found a time that the casino has not been busy. Maybe today when I come back from Tokyo, I'll see if it's closed. But they have a few games that I've never seen before. They have a like a, a computerized pop-o-matic kind of dice game. And I think from what I can tell is you pick what the combination of the dice are going to be. Uh, it's not craps at all, but it's pretty interesting. And every morning when I've walked through the casino, there's always been people playing Baccarat and uh, stuff like that. The cruise ship shops are, they're good. I mean, they, you know, they do a good job with the shopping here. So they've, I call it the vortex of shopping right in the Royal or the main promenade. They have, uh, every day they've got some sort of sale going on and they're trying to usher you into the, um, usher you into the shops. And so of course, shopping a huge, uh, huge thing when it comes to cruising and they do it up right here. They have some nice stuff. Yes. I'm staying away from Tiffany and company. Uh, the, the, they've got you know they keep the doors closed there all the time which means you know once you walk in there you gotta you're gonna s spend some money 
They do have an air hockey table on board. Oh, that's Jamie. I couldn't see who it is. Yes, uh, the same, it's interesting. If you watch the intro for the MSC or for a live, sometimes I'll show that hockey table from the MSC, the Batman hockey table. They have that same hockey table here, air hockey table. That sportsplex is cool. You just remind me of the sportsplex. I don't know if you guys are on the Facebook page and saw the bumper cars, but that sportsplex such a cool use of space. Uh, I walked through there yesterday and they were having badminton and basketball. They've had um, uh, air, not air hockey, they've had fencing, they have ping pong, they have foosball, they had bumper cars, and they set up a laser tag there. I haven't seen the laser tag yet, but yeah, pretty amazing use of that space. And then they have the kind of the dog house like they do on the Oasis class. They have a hot dog place in there. Oh, I do have my yen ready for Tokyo. Look, I, you, you guys saw the video. I had all my money ready before. The, I got to do another video about currency. Like, I am so... I think one of the big things if you're going to travel to a foreign country is to understand what their currency means versus your currency because you look at prices and then you have this money that looks like Monopoly money and nothing seems like it costs anything. I'm just, I'm just throwing yen around willy-nilly. The interesting thing about uh, the money here in Japan is they have a lot of coins. So when I got my money from the, uh, the travel exchange place, I had 5,000 bills, 2,000 bills, and 1,000 bills. And uh, I wanted to use a vending machine at the Osaka Castle. I put in a thousand, and it gave me. And I bought a coffee drink in a can for a hundred and thirty yen. A thousand's about nine dollars, ten dollars. So I I bought a coffee drink for a hundred thirty yen. But all everything came back in change. So I had like five hundred coin. I had fifty coin. I had hundred coin. And all of a sudden, you end up with this piggy bank full of. A coin in your pocket and you just keep spending the you keep spending the paper and eventually you get in this mindset that you have to spend the coin so I've done pretty good at getting rid of all my coin it's amazing to me how quiet the, I thought I would open up the uh, open up the balcony and it would be very loud but it's uh it's very quiet Thank you, Stephanie. Yeah, I don't know if I'm losing weight on this cruise. I feel like I'm eating pretty good, but uh, the food's been really good. We went to teppanyaki last night, which was interesting. Ooh, I haven't been able to stay up that late. The other thing that's been kicking my butt is the uh, jet lag, but I'm finally starting to sleep. So like last night I went to sleep at 11 and I woke up at six, so I feel pretty good. Seven full hours and didn't wake up at all. I know. I feel that I was just looking at this like oh, I should just let this run until uh, <laughs> let this run until we get to Tokyo. But I'm not sure what time we come into Tokyo. But this would be a cool shot when we actually uh, pull into port. I, I don't know which side the the actual terminal is going to be on. Uh, the terminal was on my side yesterday in Kobe. So, oh Bonnie, thank you so much for the super chat. I appreciate it. Yeah, the cool thing when I get home on the jet lag is I don't have any schedule. So you know, I just work for myself. So. I figure if I'm up at two or three in the morning editing video or something, that's not going to be a big deal. I think Jenny B is doing good. I think I saw that question. Uh, she looks happy that I'm not there. Every time I FaceTime her, there's like a party going on, loud music. I can barely understand her. I don't know what she's up to, but it seems like she's having a good time. I think I miss her more. I'm just going to put that out into the world. I miss Jenny more than she misses me. That's a fact. Oh, let me say it. Let me try to say it with a straight face here. I know I miss Jenny more than she misses me. That's a fact. That's a fact. Did you guys see the room? There's really not much to it. Of course, you can't see it lit well, but I love this solo balcony. Um, they do great with storage. I did unpack. I just want to let you guys know that my suitcases are under my bed. I did unpack. But yeah, like I'll go to the far end. That's the length of the room. It's not big, but it's big enough. Like, I wonder if, uh, if two people could actually do it. I am, I am a little homesick, for sure. Uh, which seems weird. I have, I'm having a good time because I'm on a cruise, but there's such, because Jenny's such a part of my life, it's, uh, it's definitely something feels missing. Turn you back 
background. The time change is weird too, because it's like, whenever I'm waking up, it's, you know, it's in the evening. But the cool thing is, and as I was reminded, and I mean no disrespect, we have people that watch us from the UK, and we have people that watch us from Australia. I think the other night I said goodnight, and uh, people are like, no, I'm still awake. I'm in Australia. So good day to anybody that's in Australia. I know we're almost on the same, uh, we're almost here on the sa at the same time. Yeah, we have a, we have a crack team of admins. The, uh, just, if you ever see anybody trolling, don't, don't ever feed the troll. Like one of the things when I used to play a lot of poker, um, people would point out bad play. Like if somebody was playing bad and, uh, the, 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 the adage in poker is don't tap the glass because you'll scare the fish. So in poker, you want somebody to play bad so that you can profit off of their bad playing. And that's how they learn to play better. Same thing with the trolls. Don't feed the trolls. Just ignore them. We've got a good team out there that's, uh, that's going to take care of them and they're just you know they're looking for attention and i get it uh, that's we're all kind of looking for attention on some level but uh yeah don't feed the trolls good morning from florida how peaceful is this food's good yeah, I'll, I'll definitely talk more about the food when I get home. It's, uh, I've been trying a lot of different stuff. Uh, Asian pastors drinking in the bar. Uh, we went to Chinese karaoke last night. Uh, I didn't film it because I, I didn't want to seem like I was being disrespectful since I wasn't participating. The one thing I want to say is that uh, I really love the energy of the crowd. It's like um, at these shows, it's, they, get them, they get really interactive and super... Um, there was like a sing-along the other night during that rock concert and it was, you know, you're not, I'm not trying to compare cultures or anything like that, but they definitely like to participate in those things, maybe more so than I've seen on my uh, other cruises. <laughs> uh, since Jenny can't say it, Julie, thank you for the super chat. Jenny's not getting a healthy snack. Jenny's having pizza every night. I've seen it. No, I'm just kidding. I'm having, I'm not having pizza every night too much. Uh, no, so Donna, the, um, like the showgirl show was all in English. And then the night that we had the singing, the band, half of it was in English, half of it was in um, Mandarin. It's a pretty young crowd. Like I said, I believe it's uh, spring break for the uh, Chinese nationals. And so we have a lot of families, a lot of young people. Uh, I think it's skewing more toward a younger crowd than, I mean, there are, it, it's a well, it's a good spread, I think is probably the best way to say it. Lean cuisines, no cooking there, that's right. Jenny, Jenny's just ready to get her chef back home. Do you miss some of that Tony cooking, Jenny? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, did I do any bow? I, I nod my head, but I kind of tend to do that to uh, everybody. So like when I talk, I try to talk respectfully. That's even when I'm home. Uh, somebody asked for a shout out, but it went by, I'm sorry. I only see like two chat messages at a time. Shout out to somebody in Tennessee. Oh wow, hands in your pockets. Oh, I packed plenty of underpants, thank you very much. I still have, uh, I still have folded uh, underpants. Julie D, thank you so much for the super chat. I know, I miss you too, baby. I am on the spectrum of the seas, the newest quantum class by Royal Caribbean. I have not gone to a 7-Eleven in Japan, but they're everywhere. I did go into a, uh, I did go into a, convenience store on Dotonbari Street and uh, let me show you what I bought. Of course they're all gone now. Does anybody know about this deliciousness? Oh, hey, back and forth. Anybody know this? Ho, ho, ho. 
this is some good stuff. And of course, it's made here in Japan. I know they have them in the States, but I'd never had them. And look, I was on Tour 21. This internet blows my mind, right? So I'm in Japan. I'm using a VPN to go through California, and it's rock solid. How did I end up on this cruise alone? Uh, our friend Don talked about going on this cruise, and Jenny and I talked about it and thought it would be a fun adventure to take. Uh, I've never cruised solo, never been in a solo cabin, never been to Asia, never been off the continent, and uh, we kind of decided it would be fun to do for us and fun to do for you guys, and so, boom, here I am in the middle of the North Pacific, making my way to Tokyo. I haven't tried ramen here. So they have, uh, in the buffet, they have a noodle bar, but uh, I'm, I'm afraid I'm gonna have bad form. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do it one day before I leave, maybe on the sea day, I'm gonna jump in the noodle bar line, but it's very complex, there's a lot of choices. Uh, but I do love noodles, so. Uh, I might try to figure out the noodle bar. We went to the hot pot restaurant, which I've never done hot pot before, which I would liken it to fondue, but they give you a broth and then there's a buffet style service where you go and pick up vegetables and then they bring proteins to your table and you drop it all in the broth and you cook it there, which is interesting because they give you raw seafood and you have to decide yourself how long to cook it and not get sick. Uh, but it was good. So we've been trying to do different things, but the noodle bar I haven't jumped in line for yet I, I definitely need to do that because uh, I love some noodles uh, I slept very little on the plane. I feel like maybe no more than an hour at a time Katie's asking uh, the plane is interesting. I hope to get some better footage of it on the way back so I can do a comprehensive plane video, but uh, the plane's a mental game. Uh, it doesn't matter really if you, uh, if you are big or small, there is a mental factor with a 13 and a half hour flight nonstop that I did not anticipate. Maybe that mountain's big. Maybe that's why it's in the shot. It is bigger than some of the ones that we've uh, encountered. We're not really going that fast though. Like when we left um, Kobe, we were 350 nautical miles from Tokyo. And I mean, we left there at 4 p.m. yesterday. So we've been cruising for, you know, 13 hours. Um, Abundant Sunshine, thank you so much for the super chat. Very kind. All right, I don't think I missed anybody else. Thank you so much. Uh, what's my favorite part of the ship? You know, I, I love I love the whole ship, so it's kind of, I'll have to think on that a little bit. Um, I don't know where I've spent the most time. We've been on the go the whole time. I mean, I love the theater because I love the shows. I've, I've been at the coffee bar a couple times. I love the room. It's just been, uh, I've been all over the place. Oh, thank you, Ellen. Hey, Ellen, how's it going out there? Hey, girl, thank you for the super chat. Jackie, thank you for the super chat. Sure do appreciate it. Yeah, so the, the, the flight, that's the end. I, I think I'm going to be excited to when I go home because I know I'm going home. Uh, so I'm looking forward to that. I don't know that I'm exceptionally tall in the city. I'm, I'm pretty big, uh, you know, both wide and tall, but uh, there, there were people that were my height, my size. Ocean view cabins, do they have portals or large screens? I, I'm not sure. I haven't, I haven't seen one here. I'm assuming the ocean view is going to have like a, uh, going to have like a window, but there are portals on the ship. I do like the solo cabin. It's, it's plenty, plenty big. Um, I, I think two people could sleep here if the bed was a little bigger, but uh, it's it's nice. Hey, what's up, degenerates? Uh, the comment just went away, but I hope you guys are doing good. Am I diamond on royal? No, no, this is only our second royal uh, cruise, so I think I'm gold. I think you go gold after after blue card. Best new food. Uh, I've been eating a lot of uh, dim sum. I've been eating buns and those kind of things. I enjoy that. And then they have had good noodles on the buffet. 
You know what's interesting? Uh, I didn't know about the Rugby World Cup, but yesterday in the terminal, they had a little rugby station set up. So yeah, the yellow things outside my balcony are the, uh, I don't know what the one right in front of me is, but the uh, lifeboats are right around the corner. That looks like some, maybe something that lowers the lifeboats right there. Yeah, steam buns are good. Yeah, so it's, it's interesting, it's such a busy, did I eat the, the seafood plate? Did I actually eat the, that seafood plate? Yeah, so the, the picture I posted of that shrimp, I cooked that bad boy and I ate it. Uh, the, I've never had to take the head off a shrimp before. I know that you're supposed to like eat the head too, or like, I don't know, suck out the brains or something. That might've been a crawfish that I took a picture of because there were larger prawns on the plate. But yeah, all that had a head on it. And so after I cooked it, I had to tear the head off. That was pretty interesting. Uh, Christina, go look at that shaky video from a couple days ago. I did show a ton of the the ship and stuff, but uh, yeah, I have a full ship tour that comes out that I'm gonna shoot with my stabilized camera so that you can see it. Yeah, the ship's great, the room's great. I don't think this ship's coming to the Caribbean. It was built for Asia. Welcome, Claudia, first time chat, glad to have you. What were the other items on that plate? If you're talking about the seafood plate, there was, uh, I think, I don't know what that little um, thing that looked all spiky, that tasted pretty interesting. I think that was maybe some form of squid or something. That that was the seafood proteins. So there were prawns, mussels, the crawfish, um, that, that white thing. So I'm not 100% sure what all was on there. And then we had a beef plate that had like, you know, beef and uh, there were fish balls, there were beef balls. Yeah, Bonnie, I think you'd like the solo balcony. It's really nice. Body of water, I believe it's the Pacific. So I was looking before I got on the live feed so I didn't call it the, the wrong thing. The Sea of Japan, I believe, is between China and Japan. So I think this would technically be the Northern Pacific. Uh, but I could be wrong. If there's anybody that knows the geography better out there, feel free to correct me. But looking at the map, that's what it looked like. Wow, it's just such a chill little ride. Is it the bearing straight? That's a good that's a good thing. I can turn on the TV. Hold on. I thought the bearing straight was further north. But I believe you. Let's see, ship information. I don't know. I'll look at it in a bit, though. I'll take bearing straight. I'll take bearing straight for 500. It is really calm. Con considering, like, the first 12 hours, is, well, the first day of the cruise, I mean, it was a madhouse to get from Shanghai Disneyland to the terminal. It rained. We stu we're stuck in traffic. We get on the cruise ship. We hightail it out of Shanghai. And then it was like 12 to 14 hours of just rolling seas. We were leaving the theater on the first night and I got lifted off my feet. Uh, I was in the buffet, plates crashed. It was really crazy. Uh, what day am I on? This is day, day five, five of eight. So Tokyo, two sea days left and then disembarkation on the eighth. What's up, Lori? Yeah, yeah, Typhoon Bonnie. Bonnie warned me about, now is that, did you warn me about that same Typhoon? Cause your warning was like a week in advance, but this Typhoon uh, Mit, Mitga or something like that, it was crazy. I should have heeded Bonnie's warning. I feel like just leaving this thing running while I uh, go about my day, but probably not responsible. I need my, I need my phone. It's the it's the uh, it's the serene cruising channel here. <laughs> Thank you, Bonnie. Yeah, it was a little it was a little scary, and you know it was super nice the two previous days at Shanghai Disney, and so when we woke up that morning, uh, 
it was like, oh, it's a little rainy and windy. And I tell you what, I, I always talk about, make sure you check your emails. That's how the cruise line communicates. And I don't check my email that often. And once the rain started, uh, Don looked at the weather channel and saw the typhoon warning and I jumped in the email and sure enough, over overnight, it, uh, uh, I don't know, overnight it, it, they sent us an email saying come to the port earlier. Maybe I can hook up with Don later. He's somewhere else on the ship, so I don't know. His room looks exactly the same. It's just his balcony's uh, twice as big. Yeah, the internet is top notch. I can't, uh, I can't recommend it enough. I tell you what, like we like to try all the different cruise lines. The internet could be a thing that makes me want to be royal, uh, loyal to Royal, just because it's so good and how you know how much I use the internet. And then the stuff that Jenny does, how much she uses the internet might be essential. East China Sea, okay. I knew it's something, yeah. Cause it doesn't seem like, uh, it doesn't seem big enough to be like the, the waves and stuff doesn't seem big enough to be the ocean. Uh, in Tokyo, we have a six hour tour where we go, we will see the Imperial Palace, at least the gate part of it, we can't go in. We're going to a shrine and uh, we're gonna do uh, something modern there too. Uh, the internet altogether, I got the highest unlimited package, $139 for the cruise. So eight days, less than $20 a day. Seems a little expensive, but not bad. There's one device, so like if Jenny and I both went, we'd have to double that. Yeah, the when we were on the Princess ship uh, last year or the year before, I think we went on Princess in 2018. The internet was fast. They had a weird uh, way to pay for it though. It was by the minute. That since changed and then they just upgraded with their medallion uh, internet. And uh, Don says that's super fast. He's been on there. The weather's pretty good here. Again, yesterday in uh, Kobe, it was low 70s. So it was nice to walk around and had a good time. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm, I'm afraid it's still going to be hot when we go back to Charlotte. Uh, where am I right now? So I'm somewhere between Kobe and Tokyo, and we're supposed to be in Tokyo. Our tour is supposed to, we're supposed to get off the ship at 1230, so I assume we'll be in Tokyo by like 11. It seems like our tours have been going about an hour later than uh, we dock, so I feel like we'll be there at 11. I think I started this live stream at 7 our time, so it's about 8 here, probably a couple hours away couple hours away yeah no more land masses though well I can see what I can see an island off in the distance this should be more stable since I'm on the tripod today how about that Ferris wheel did you guys see that video the Ferris wheel was blowing my mind I kind of wish I had gone on it there in uh Oh, now it is the Pacific. I could have been right. How about that? Um, yeah, the Ferris wheel there. Uh, Ferris wheel is a big thing in the culture here. There was a huge Ferris wheel in um, Kobe also, huge Ferris wheel in Osaka. And uh, I really wish I had jumped on it, but we, I was pretty white by the time we got back. I walked uh, 22,000 steps on that Osaka day, and most of it was in the rain carrying an umbrella and a camera and a backpack. And so I was, I was kind of white by the time that we got there, but we got back about seven o'clock or six o'clock and we stayed till three in the morning. So I could have rode the Ferris wheel, but the, the other thing that I, I also took a fall when I was in the immigration station in uh, Osaka, I missed the last step. Like we had to go down a bunch of steps and I was paying attention. Like I wasn't filming or anything. I was just trying to get to immigration and the immigration process is interesting. Everybody had to go through it there in Osaka to be able to get off at the other ports. I missed the last step and I fell right on my knees. And so I had this sore knee and did 22,000 steps. It was, it was crazy. I feel pretty good. I took some ibuprofen. I don't have any bruising, but it was a, it was a bummer at the moment. I was like, oh, you know how it is. Like you have all these great plans and I'm like, I can't believe I took a fall right before I had to walk all day. And it's one of those old people things or older people things. Like when I was a kid, I could take a fall. When I was in my 20s and 30s, I could take a fall. But now the older I get, anytime you take a fall, you're like, this is a disaster. What is going on? I can't be falling down on the cruise. I can't be hurt. Yeah, 
so that's uh i definitely use the handrails i was i feel like i was i don't know how i fell but it was it was not fun 49 degrees in minnesota i haven't i haven't gambled at all like uh, uh, again jenny's my gambling partner a lot of times i gamble to uh to try to build up a little bankroll for her to uh play through there's no craps table here that's the other thing and yeah so no no real gambling for me and, and uh it's pretty smoky down there like this is most of the royal caribbean ships outside of asia they have a smoking and a non-smoking part of their casino but in asia the whole thing's smoky and it's uh it's pretty smoky down there so that's the interesting thing like i uh, i don't even know if i told you this jenny but they the smoking sections here are super nice <laughs> like the outside sections they have huge seating areas and it definitely still have a smoking culture here and so they they treat the the people that smoke in a a, a way that's comfortable that's right i can't cheat on jenny testing the fates yeah i think i don't know if disney ships are all non-smoking but i know they're no casino so that if that's a good one if you want to go on a no casino trip Yeah, this shot's turning out pretty nice. I don't know how well the, how well the, uh, oh, that's right. There was no smoking in the, the Celebrity Casino. That's why we didn't win. Yeah, I hope the camera's picking up that sun nice. It's, it's pretty cool. <laughs> Look at Jenny. I would never cheat on you, baby. How dare you? Uh, it, you know, it's kind of blue. Maybe the camera's not doing justice, but as I look over to the right here, I'll point my finger. As I look over here, it looks really blue. Of course, it looks a little less blue over here because of the sun. A static viewer mobile. No, this is uh, my cell phone. I got it locked off on a tripod, so I'm just shooting. Oh, I like that I can use my fingers though. Look, now I'm like a robot. Look, I will point you to the horizon. Dun, 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 Let's see, if we roll into, uh, if I get ready, maybe I'll, maybe I'll turn the camera on again as we make our way into Tokyo. That'd be probably 11, 11 a.m. here. I don't know that this is considered obstructed. I, you know, I wasn't super excited when I came out and, uh, you know, like if you look to the right over here, like if I walk to the rail, I don't want to move the camera, but if I walk to the rail, all you could see is um, lifeboats. So if you go to the other area there, you kind of have a good view. I don't think it's considered obstructed though. Jenny, do you remember when we booked that? If that's, uh, if that's, if it's called obstructed. Oh, thanks Artie. Yeah, those Halloween shirts turned out pretty good. How long from now to port? Uh, let's see, 7.42 a.m. I think we'll be there like in three hours, so. Yeah, maybe, I, I already took my shower, so maybe I'll get dressed and go have breakfast and get all my stuff ready for the excursion and maybe come and turn the camera back on uh, as we get into Tokyo. I don't want to carry this whole rig upstairs, so hopefully, hopefully it'll be, uh, hopefully be on our side. I can show a little bit. Uh, see the map. I don't know, Daniel. I'm, I was trying to pull it up, and I, I'm having trouble. Let me see. Ship information. I'll, I'll try to. You guys watch the thing. Let me see if I can pull it up. Ship info. It's all in Chinese, right? Like I can't get the TV converted to English. So I'm having trouble finding the uh, the cameras. Oh wait, live! It's gonna be on live TV. Hold on, let me find that. Uh, that's not it. Live TV. not obvious. 
Oh. Maybe a little bit. Let's see if I can let's see if I can bring it into the cabin here for this last little bit. All right, there it is. Oh, it was just right there. Here, I gotta mute that just in case that's gonna copyright me. Ah. Do you see it? We're there near Hama Hamatsu. I can't get it over there because of the... Uh... I'll let it shoot back over there real quick and then I'll give you back to the ocean. Yeah, so right there, we're getting ready to go into the mouth where Tokyo is. I hope you can see it. It's kind of like just right there. And we actually dock in Yokohama, and then we have to take uh, we have to take our excursion. Ooh, look at this big land mass coming up. Maybe that's the mouth that I was talking about. Reach it back up a little bit. Yeah, so if it's uh, 7 a.m. here, it's 7 p.m. back on the East Coast. I'm assuming my friends in Australia, it's already uh, the daytime. Uh, I don't, I don't, we don't have any plans to join the Sharon at Sea Ship Show group cruise. I'm not sure when that is. Thank you, Stephanie. Yeah, it's, it's really nice. 3.45 p.m. in California the day before. I'm in the future. I'm in the future. I uh, just decided on the cruise because it was an adventure. I uh, wanted to get off the continent and experience cruising in a different way and show you guys something different. Oh, so it's uh, David, you're ahead of me in Australia. David's further into the future. Oh, 11.45 in Ireland, keeping you up. Yeah, this is about a f as far away from home. Like, I guess the, the, the logical step would have been to go to Europe or uh, somewhere like that first, but uh, this was a great opportunity, so yeah. I would like to, I have that 10-year visa now, and I would love to come back and maybe do a Trans-Pacific from Shanghai back to the States or go from Shanghai down to Australia. Uh, again, I'm glad that I, I, trying to figure out the 13-hour flight and surviving that, the fact that I did it, it's, uh, I mean, everybody does it every day. It's not like I climbed a mountain or anything, but th I think that's probably the hardest part of it. More, more than anything else, just the getting over here is the challenging part. I am enjoying the unique foods. I think we will be taking a med cruise, Lori. That's a good one. Uh, Japan, fluffy, friendly. Yeah, for the most part, like I haven't had much trouble. The, the seats in the theater are tight. Uh, the shower works well here. I mean, I know that's the cruise size. I haven't had any trouble uh, in, in port or anything. So those things have been fine. Uh, I'm on the fence about Disney. Like uh, I know that the uh, people that are Disney fans are big Disney fans and I definitely can appreciate that fandom. Um, I don't know if it's a hundred percent for me. I had a good time at Disneyland China or Shanghai Disneyland, but it's, it's not motivating me like to say go to Orlando or anything like that. I don't like crowds and, uh, that was all about the crowds. I mean, I spent a ton of time in crowds and that's not really my, uh, my deal. Uh, so the percentage of guests that are English speaking, there's not a, not been a lot of interaction. Uh, so I don't know if it's a cultural thing. So I haven't, you know, nobody's striking up a conversation or anything like that. Uh, mu much of the uh, crew can understand and help you out in English. So that's been that's been nice. But yeah, it's it's been an interesting isolated uh, experience when it comes to other folks. And so it really gives you an appreciation when you are, when you're in the majority, say like in the Caribbean or something like that, it gives you an appreciation for the person. I, I think about those cruises in the Caribbean. What's nice here is like they give announcements in English. Uh, all the food has English written under it in addition to the Mandarin. But if you're a foreigner traveling kind of on a Westerners cruise, you don't have all that. So it's gotta be, it's gotta be a challenge. Gives you definitely definitely have a whole new appreciation for that. I mean, 
I always try to go out of my way to be nice to folks anyways and, you know, engage that kind of thing. And so I, I completely appreciate being somewhere where most of the people don't understand you and uh, trying to figure out what things are. It's, it's pretty interesting. Sorry, the sun's, I'm having trouble reading the chat. Yeah, Lori, La Petite Chef uh, dinner on Celebrity was very cool. The interesting thing about Osaka, it was kind of ringed by the Roku Mountains, which, uh, so everything looked like this water with uh, mountains behind it, much bigger than what you're seeing here, but super cool, like the, kind of the geography and the, and the way things looked, it was, uh, it was really neat. Somebody asked about Expedia points. I'm not sure. Um, might be a Jenny question. Oh, Debbie Solomon. Yeah, I, I, I'm assuming that cruising to Hawaii is going to have some similar views. pretty good so I've had this uh, I'm just thinking uh, it's not super hot here because I've had this cabin door open for well over an hour and it's uh it's been nice yeah most of the guests are from mainland China the there's about 5,000 people on board and I think 4,200 are mainland China haven't seen any whales group cruise to Hawaii we've talked about that I, I didn't know if uh, I don't know if many people would be that interested in it but uh, group cruise to Hawaii could be interesting what's up Jaybo? how's it going buddy Well, and said she'd go to Hawaii. Uh, I haven't seen the interior here, so I'm not sure if they do the uh, virtual uh, window or not. Well, I have to look for the Godzilla. I've been looking for Godzilla. I know it's cliche, but as we've gone through these waters, I've, I've had that imagery in my head. I know Godzilla's not real, but still. Oh, thanks, Diane. Yeah, I'm glad the video is coming out. And uh, again, you're not seeing as much of the ship as the one I did the other day, but this has to be less shaky. It's pretty interesting. I tried to buy a cell phone gimbal at this huge uh, department store in Tokyo. And uh, so it was, let's see, I think it was 12,000 yen, which would have made it about $120. But the interesting thing, Don was also trying to buy a hard drive because we had these paper passports, we had to surrender our actual passports to the uh, customs, and we've been using these paper passports, and we'll get our regular passport back after our stop here in Tokyo. But we had trouble buying stuff at the electronics store because they want your regular passport, I guess, for taxation or duty purposes. And so, uh, yeah. Now, Billy, this is just my cell phone on a tripod. It's a iPhone 8 the big one is it called max i don't know eight plus that's what it is iphone eight plus yeah shots like this uh super super still super not shaky if you got it locked off on a tripod i'm assuming the audio is okay because it's pretty quiet and the mics are good but i'm not using any external mic or anything Oh, I haven't found any ducks. I, I didn't think about that. Yeah, I haven't looked particularly, but yeah, I haven't seen any ducks on the ship. Uh-oh, what's that in the water? Is that Godzilla? Wow, this is so pretty here, guys. Now I'm looking at the TV to see where we're at. There's no city name next to where we're at. But yeah, we're definitely making our way. Like if you look at the, if you look where Tokyo is on the map, you see a little inlet that takes you up into Tokyo. We're starting to enter that. Uh, that cr comment just scrolled by. I did, uh, I rented a uh, Sony RX, Sony RX100 Mark 7 
uh, for the trip, and it's been really good. I've been vlogging with that. I've been I've been vlogging with that Sony point and shoot, and then I've uh, been doing a ton of walks with uh, B roll with the Osmo Pocket. I don't know what the depth of the water is here. Cruise ship deep. Oshima Island, very nice. Uh, would I do an Asian cruise again? I, I probably would, yeah. Again, I would like to do a different variety of an Asian cruise. I wouldn't mind uh, coming over here and going uh, I don't know where you can go here. Like, I know you can go from here to Australia, but I think you could probably also go from like here to Thailand, those kind of things. I would try it. Yeah, super peaceful looking. I don't see a landing strip. Again, everything's kind of blown out by the light from what I can see. Uh, 15 decks to the top deck. It's a pretty big ship. Not sure if chat comes through on the replay. I guess I realized I should just have been repeating the question. If anybody's watching this on the replay, hopefully some of these uh, comments make sense. It's pretty cool. You guys are mentioning planes. When I was leaving uh, Kobe yesterday, you can see the planes flying in over the water, which was kind of cool. I got, a, I think I got one or two shots of planes flying in over the water. Also, because it's an island culture, there's also a lot of bridges. Uh, I've always been fascinated by bridges, so there were a lot of cool bridges there in Kobe and uh, when we were leaving, a cool cool bridge to look at. Vending machines, bridges, it's uh, and beautiful scenery, so I've, I've been super happy. Are there cruises here? Uh, so Don took a cruise, I, the, I guess the question, are there cruises to Asia, Don took a cruise from Vancouver uh, across the Pacific to Japan, and then he flew from Japan to Shanghai to jump on this. So yeah, you definitely can get across the Pacific on a cruise ship. I haven't seen any other ships. I haven't done much exploring. I just woke up, took a shower, and wanted to share the view with you guys. So I haven't been out and about. We've seen all kinds of ships, though. Of course, uh, when we were in the port yesterday, it's a huge shipping area. I haven't tried the hot food vending machine, but I have, uh, I have been trying the other vending machines. I don't think Jenny would have enjoyed it. It's been, a, it's been a little bit of a challenge with crowds and hustling and bustling and running around. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure. I think we made the right call, honey. I don't think you would have loved it. I think it I think there is houses. There's a lot of stuff built over there. I don't know how far away we are from that coast. You know, I, I have not ordered breakfast goodies. I, I I like to go I don't like to eat in my room. That's just me. I like to go sit at a table somewhere and and eat. Uh the food's good. I mean, again, I don't I don't know what all the food's supposed to taste like or be like, but I've been trying a mix of I've been trying everything that they've had, uh, mostly buffet. Uh, Don doesn't uh, do the MDR a ton. So uh, we've got some specialty dining lined up. I did the MDR for lunch and then everything else, I've just been hitting the buffet at random times. Uh, so far, so good. I'm gonna try on the sea day to get up right when the breakfast opens and try to film it before there's a lot of people there. I don't, I don't necessarily like to film people getting their food. And so uh, I do wanna show you guys some of the different food options. So I'm gonna to try to take the uh, the handheld uh, stabilized camera up there and get the breakfast and hopefully I can get a lunch and dinner, but it's pretty interesting. What's oh, interesting, freak out videos. You should have brought some binoculars. Last uh, cruise on Celebrity, they provided them in the cabin, which was kind of neat. Jenny constantly looking for pirates. Uh, Julie, I don't think I would do this for a group cruise. It's a, it would be a whole lot to get people. I mean, if we had a lot of people over here, like if, if a bunch of Australians wanted to come up to Shanghai, I think that would be reasonable. But 
I think trying to get a bunch of people from the U.S. over would be challenging. The cruise director met your expectation? Yeah, uh, cruise director Feng, he's really good. Uh, of course, he gives uh, announcements in English and in Chinese, and yeah, he's, he's been great. Uh, around 5,000 on this cruise. I don't know, uh, the question before that scrolled ahead. Um, sorry if I missed your question. Uh, it's, so is the ship noticeably smaller than the Oasis? That's a great question. Uh, I think the ship's as long as the Oasis. I, I don't know the numbers. I'd have to look, uh, look it up. I feel like it's as long. It's just not as wide. And that as wide makes the difference. So uh, it's pretty, pretty interesting. I haven't seen any protesters or anything like that, Chad R. It's been pretty smooth sailing. Other than the typhoon threat on the day that we came to the cruise, uh, I haven't noticed anything that would be considered out of the norm. Uh, I'm not scheduled. So the question, are you going on the new Amplified Oasis? I would like to, but we don't have anything scheduled. I, I normally don't um, I, I normally don't go on the same ship twice, uh, but I will be duplicating the Breeze to hang out with our friends Jamie and Sharon on the group cruise. And uh, the Oasis is a ship I would do again, especially after the Amplified process. Uh, it looks, looks really good. Um, how many, so the cruise is eight days? I do eat sushi. I haven't had any sushi here. I was really tempted and I wish we had a little longer on uh, the excursion the other day because on uh, Dotaberry Street there was uh, little sushi bars. There were places to go try local cuisine. I, I just didn't know how much time we had. I would have loved to dip in and got uh, got some local sushi. Oh, so yeah, Daniel, Dan, Daniel, Daniel, we went to a sake brewery yesterday or a sake museum and uh, we got to try sake. So four different types of sake, which you guys know I don't really drink, but uh, it was it was fun to try the try the sake. Definitely more. So uh, how's the food? Is there a lot more Asian options compared to the Oasis class? Yeah. So the majority of the buffet is, is Asian food and then different varieties of Asian food. So there's Chinese food, there's Japanese food, there's Taiwanese food, uh, and then there's some Western selections, but the majority is going to be uh, Asian based. And this is an Asian cruise. So uh, the majority is going to be Asian based food. I haven't seen any squid boats, maybe. I mean, I filmed a ton of stuff in the harbor, so maybe when we look back at the footage, we can identify if anything's a squid boat, but uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, almost past the island, let's see. I'll look on the map and see what it looks like. <clears throat> yeah, so it's interesting. There, I can see it on the map, a big island. So it looks like uh, if we're heading north, I'm on the, I'm on the east side of the ship. Uh, do they have any menus with photos? So yeah, the the main dining room, there were photos on a big digital board of what the uh, what the thing is. But again, the main dining room stuff, I feel like it's it, I feel like it's a Western menu. Like there's not that much different. Uh, I did buy Jenny some sub, 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 surprise gifts. Uh, yeah, I mean, somebody's asking. I'm a big guy with a red beard. Will I get stares? I would think so. I mean, I, I, I've gotten plenty of looks just, uh, and I, you know, I don't have a red beard, so I might have to wear it. It's, it's AM where I'm at. So it's now, we'll have to wait for the next comment to see the time. Might be getting close. Yeah. Eight o'clock, 8 AM for me. <clears throat> uh, I'm over. I, I think my phone said I'm averaging 13,000 steps a day. Somebody asked how many steps a day I'm averaging. The tour we went on yesterday, very little walking. It was they drive you, drop you off, pick you up, drive you, drop you off, pick you up. The day before, they dropped you off and made you walk three miles, which in the rain. It was good, though. Like, I was super happy just to be somewhere uh, experiencing it. So 
I never thought I would be okay walking around in the rain. Like, you know, when we go to the Caribbean and it's raining, you're like, oh, I don't want to do anything. It's raining. Uh, not, not in Osaka. I, I brought my travel umbrella with me and boom, I was ready to go. Don has been filming everywhere too, so the, you're definitely going to get uh, you're going to get footage from both of us. Uh, so, have I met any locals in the port? Yeah. So when we were in uh, Shanghai Disneyland, I met a guy and we had a conversation about the camera that I was using. That was pretty cool. And then uh, when we were in uh, Osaka, we met a couple young guys that uh, asked us if we were YouTubers, and we talked about YouTube with them. So that was cool. They're they're really nice. The people are super kind in both places. <clears throat> all right guys i'm gonna give it a few more minutes and then get out there and start my day uh i'm trying to get everything <clears throat> excuse me let me grab some water Yeah, so I'm going to try to uh, go out and get my day ready, get ready for the excursion. I go at 12.30 local time, 12.30 uh, p.m. on my excursion. Uh, but maybe as we get closer to uh, Japan, of course, the way we're, I, again, we might pull right up to the terminal on this side. So I will try to, uh, I'll try to turn the camera back on, maybe if it's just for 10 or 15 minutes uh, later on. So I don't know, it's not a promise, but I will try. But uh, let me give you a few more minutes of, of the water and then I'll get out of here. Thanks everybody for stopping by. Uh, it looks like there's still 248 people here. So I appreciate you guys hanging out with me this morning. It makes me feel a little less far from home. And uh, Jenny's already ready to get rid of me. I'm not leaving yet. Let's go to the, we'll go to the 70 minute mark. It's two and, a, two and a half more minutes. Thank you everybody for the kind wishes. Yeah, if you guys uh, if you guys want some updates, I've been trying to post on Instagram. We're at La Lita Loca on Instagram. Of course, we have a Facebook page. If you go to uh, Facebook to uh, La Lita Loca, you'll find me there, putting a bunch of updates. That's right, Jenny's already ready to go. What time is it for you, honey? It's it's oh, it's in the evening. It's in the evening. Last last minute. There's two minutes left. Any crazy uh, questions, or good questions, or not good questions? <laughs> the ceilings look low. No, I'm just I'm bending down just because of where the ha I have the the camera. Oh, let's see. Let's just do a ceiling check. So, like I okay. So I can touch it, but it's not it's not near my head. But it's, it's no different than any other cabin. I don't think. I haven't seen any fish. I haven't seen Godzilla, I've been looking. I did not learn Japanese or Chinese before I sailed. The only thing I did is make sure I downloaded the translator. Uh, I do plan on going on the North Star. I gotta get a reservation. Uh, I think the North Star's only going up and down and not side to side, but I do wanna try it out. Thank you guys. Yeah, it should be a good time. Uh, we haven't been to Tokyo yet, but I think the weather's going to be just like this. So it, I think it's in the 70s and sunny. All right, guys. Well, thanks so much for stopping by. I hope you've enjoyed the live stream. hope you've enjoyed uh, cruising <laughs> to Tokyo. It's It's been interesting. We've seen some cool land masses, and uh, it's perfectly, perfectly calm here. I, I feel like I should just run the camera and be able to play this uh, to relax without me talking. So I, I know it's not as relaxing with me talking. Thank you, Joe. I love you, Jenny B. I miss you. I can't wait to see you in just a couple days. I'm going to go and do Tokyo Upright for you. All right, guys. Love you guys. Thanks so much for stopping by. Uh, again, this is Tony with La Lita Loca. You know where to find us. And until the next time, we'll see you on the Lido. How do I say goodbye? Sayonara. Arigato, thank you so much for watching, and sayonara. See you on the lead-up.